Hey guys, I am back today with another haul that I got at Walmart for the clearance and hidden clearance. So, starting over here, um, some Mermaid Pearl Slime. I believe this was a dollar or a dollar fifty. Um, again, this stuff goes into our toy closet to um, use throughout the year or up to Christmas for other families and kids in need. Um, these were a big hit this year, and for some reason, I guess they just weren't a hit in my area. The pop, pop, pop snot slime, and some of them have like little figures and stuff inside. Um, these were $2, and they had smaller packages for $1. Then these ugly dolls um, figures. They're blind bag series one. These are marked down to 25 cents. So I got a handful of those. Um, we got these Orbeez Wow World. Literally have no idea. Polar Magic Series 3. Wow's are surprised. We change colors, collect them all, yada yada yada. Kids love this crap and um they make great stocking stuffers and I always try to do stockings um and stocking stuffer type of things for the kids that we sponsor at Christmas time. Um, I have zero idea what this is. Find your mystery vehicle includes one tool case, one crate, one key fob. One wheel with special rim, mystery vehicle, two real metal tools. So I guess you can build your own cars or something. Um, so I got a couple of couple of those for any of the boys we might get to sponsor this Christmas. I believe those were two dollars. The Minecraft figures, um, these are marked down to three fifty. Legos, um, what is this? An Enderman or something? A skeleton? I don't know. Yeah, skeleton. Oh, skeleton with a magma cube, excuse me. And then we got, um, who is this? Alex, I think. And I already have an Alex and a Steve, and I think a spider or something that I'd gotten the first go around. Um, not the one you saw today, but from like a month ago. This Craft City presents Make Your Own Kool Aid Edible Slime Kit. This was like two bucks. YouTube's Queen of Craft. I don't know who that is, but I figured it's slime. Kids love slime. It's not going anywhere anytime soon. Um, if you saw my video this morning, you saw that we got a darker skin Wild Hearts crew doll. This was the other one that was on clearance. It's three fifty, so I went ahead and got her. She's on roller skates, so I thought she was pretty cool. This one is something I did get for our family. It's a What's in the Box game. We love to play family games, and we love to play family games like this. My daughter had heard of it. I never have before, uh, but I think that it will be fun, and it was on sale for five bucks. This is a Fortnite figurine, Omega. This is one that my son picked out for himself. I told them they could get any toy on the clearance section because almost nothing was over $5. So, um, I mean, except some Legos, but they don't play with Legos anyway. So he grabbed that. Um, got this How to Train Your Dragon Hidden World iconic figure dragon thingy. I don't know, I literally have no idea, but it was a game and How to Train Your Dragon is an awesome movie and what little boy or girl doesn't love dragons? So it was like three bucks, went ahead and picked that up. Um, on to some more surprise type of stuff. The Fortnite loot chests um, for the four inch figure. So I guess that would go maybe with the figure. Let's see, I guess it's accessories. Is that a four inch figure? I don't really know. How do you know? How can you tell? Well, he looks like four inches, so I guess that, like, these could go together. Not necessarily for my son, but for any other kiddo, if we end up going back and grabbing some more figures. Um, they're just, like, surprise chests. And I've got two of those. I believe those are on sale for two bucks as well. Um, this Paw Patrol Super... Paul's thing, Marshall. I got two Marshalls because um, they only had Marshall, but they were $1.50. So, um, and kids love Paw Patrol and it's gonna be around for a while as well, so it will not go out of style before Christmas. Got a couple of Overwatch things. My older sons love Overwatch and we did sponsor some teenage boys and some preteen boys this Christmas and I think that this would have been fun. Um, this person is named Tracer. They had some more figures. I might go back and get some at some point or see if they're still there. And then I got this Lego kit. I don't remember how much it originally was, but I believe I paid seven for it. I'm sure it was way more than seven. It's like this battle or something. 
I don't know. You can probably hear my kids screaming in the background. I think they're pretending to be lions or something. Here's a little miniature Fortnite glider guy. Um, I thought this would be really cool because it comes with, it's like a little playset. So um, it's for ages eight and up, but as long as they don't, you know, chew on pieces, I think that even five-year-olds could probably play with it. Moving on. So this is something that you have seen before this morning in the haul, but I got another one because as I said, I'll let my kiddos pick out um, something from the clearance section and they just, um, uh, Evelyn, who I said this morning would love the little boopy, picked this one out. So now we have two and she'll have one and we'll have one for next Christmas for somebody else. We got the series one little shuckies. They're basically slime and pearls and you can make jewelry. Um, they were, I think, $1.50 for these. And then we got a big cased one that was $5 for Lucy, but she already opened it, so I can't show you that. Um, let's see, Calico Critters. I think I got this at Home Goods today. Um, but I had shown you, how much was that? I don't know. Anyway, um, I'm pretty sure this was not even $2, but I had shown you the Calico Critters car that we got. And so, whoever I give the car to for Christmas this year, um, not one of my kiddos, but kiddos that we sponsor, I will include this so that they at least have some figurines. So I literally have no idea what these are. Kissable keychain, one postcard, one sticker, tie-dye kiss, kiss tech, sealed with a kiss. I literally don't have any idea. But they were like, what were they, 50 cents maybe? And they had a ton. They might not have been 50 cents, 75 cents? Anyway, I didn't realize I got two tie-dye, but whatever. Okay, what else? I think all this stuff came. No, wait. So this is my last Walmart thing. And I was pretty proud of it. It even had the little security thing on it. This is um, obviously a frozen Lego castle. It is from the first movie. It's Elsa's Magical Palace that she makes when she's singing, Let it go, let it go. And it was originally, I believe, 79 And I got it today for 19 And it was the last one. So <laughs> pretty bummed about that. Okay, so now on to the home goods stuff. We just got a few things there because I was going for um, for purposes of not toys. But found this little puzzle for two bucks, 25 pieces, three and up. This would be a great um, Christmas gift for a kid we sponsor. This little napping book, The Napping House. I'm pretty sure that I read this poem in school and I loved this book. Now, I just became an Usborne consultant, and so I'm trying to not buy books, but when I started reading this, it was so nostalgic because I remember this as a kid, and the illustrations are so beautiful, and it's such a good quality, um, so I went ahead and got it. It wasn't even on clearance. It's like, what, $5.99, so, but whatever. That's still cheap. Um, I found this, my activity book for girls. I think there's six, maybe, six books in there, so there's uh, my Fabulous Pink Fairy Activity Sticker Book, my Zoo Animals Activity Sticker, my Pink Princess Activity and Sticker, my Girls Coloring Book, and my Fantastic Doodle and Draw Book. Um, originally $12.99 US. How much did I get it for? Six bucks. And both of my girls, my both of my older girls will love that. Um, I went ahead and got a Beyblade Burst for our toy closet for kids we sponsor because I already had gotten a Beyblade. And if I end up getting um, more than one boy or like brother, siblings or whatever, I know they'll be able to use these to like fight each other or whatever Beyblades are supposed to be for. So I went ahead and picked those up. Um, I actually got this for us for homeschool. It's a solar system puzzle, and they had a dinosaur one, which I knew Ollie would love, but um, that one was six bucks, and this is only three fifty, so you can't beat that. And then lastly, I got this foam puzzle of the United States. <laughs> the dog's trying to get out of the room. Um, and I think this is forty-four pieces. I think that for what was it? 450 yeah you can't really beat that either especially for homeschool we'll be able to use this um they're all the time asking me to show them on a globe where we live but it doesn't really show up on a globe because we're not in like a big enough city so i have to kind of show them the stuff around where we live so yeah this will be great i can show them where we live i can show them like where our family lives like we've got family in virginia we're about to have family move from north carolina down to texas and so i think that'll be an interesting visual for them to be able to see so i hope you enjoyed this haul from walmart clearance and home goods clearance um sorry i'm such a wreck today it's been a really rough day with the kiddos but um we're we're trucking along so anyway 
I'm gonna get all these toys put up and people put down for naps because mommy is tired. So anyways, if you liked this, then please hit that big, big, what is the button? Subscribe. It's a subscribe button and thumbs up and comment and you know, all that good jazz. So anyway, we'll talk to you soon. Bye.